Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today also we will continue the discussion on pop ads. So yesterday we discussed how we can verify our websites in pop ads and my website is already verified. So if I will go to websites, I will be able to see my websites that is in approved state and this was a blogspot.com website. So it proves that they also accept blogspot.com and if you have any websites or if you have any blogs on blogspot then you can uh, try pop ads as well and uh, the second thing is that if you have a very low traffic as well if and if you want to earn some money then pop ads also is also a very another thing is that if you have very low traffic in your website then also you can try pop ads so today we are going to generate a code and uh, we will implement that code in our eBlogger websites that has been approved. So in order to generate the code, you have to go to code generator and here you will be able to generate the code. So there are a lot of options for a webmaster to generate the code here. They are giving a lot of flexibilities in generating a code. So one by one we will discuss and we will get to know what flexibility we have in generating code from pop ads. So first of all, you have to select a website here. I do have only one website here. That's why only one option is showing now pop unders per visitors this will specify how many pop unders you want per visitors if you are giving option 2 here then only 2 pop ads will come up when one particular user visit your sites if you are setting at 0 then there will not be any limit now minimal bid how much you want to put it so here you can see one example like if you enter 0.001 it means that your rate will not be lower than $1 or 1000 impressions. But you have to also consider a fact that uh, your website is targeted for which country. So if your website is targeted for a country where uh, CPM rate is usually low, then this option is not for you. So by default, you just uh, set it as zero. That would be helpful for pop ads. Uh, software to decide how much CPM rate it should give to your visitors. Now delay between pop unders. So this is another a very good features of a pop ads code. So this will specify that after how much period of time pop ads will appear. The next pop ads will appear for your visitors. If you are setting 5 here then it's 5 seconds. If you are setting 10 then it will be 10 seconds. If you are setting zero, then there will not be any limit. And uh, here flash compatibility, whether your website support flash compatibility or not. Now views of default per day. So before going to this option, we have to see this uh, field here that is default. So here it says if we have no advertisers for certain countries or the visitor has reached one of the pop unders per visitor limit or we do not have any advertisers matching your minimal bid requirements. You can use this setting to load alternative code. So alternative code and see if you have joined any other ad network. If they are providing any code, let it be for pop under or let it be for any other links, then you can give it here. So whenever there will not be any ads from pop ads network to show to your visitors, they will show the ads from the link that you have given here. If you will ask me then the smart link from Propeller Ads is the best for this option. So if you don't have any Propeller Ads account then I will put a link in the description along with Pop Ads Network. You can join that and you can explore more about both of these website. And you can also watch other videos of my channel where I have explained various things related to Propeller Ads. Now after understanding what exactly the default is, you can give a value here that is views of default per day. So how many times your default link should appear to your visitors per day. So if you are giving 10, then 10 times your default link will be shown to your website's visitors. I suggest not to give any value because that will not only increase your revenue for uh, pop ads, but also it will increase your revenue for other ad network from where you are getting the code. So now we have to click on generate code and uh, the code will be generated for us. 
so there are four options here standard add code anti add block add code add code php library and add code api so if you know about api then you can go here if you have a website which support php website language then you can uh, click here or you can also check standard add code but the recommendation is anti add block add code because if any web browser has some ad block uh, software installed in it then this code will skip that part and uh, even if that software exists in the browser still ads will be shown to your visitors that will generate more revenue for you so just click on anti ad block ad code and you will be able to get the code here just you have to click here control c for copy and then you can go to your eblogger websites this is my eblogger website here you have to go to layout section in layout section you have to search for a option called add a gadget and uh, click on that one you will be able to see various options here you have to select uh, html javascript and click on this plus button and then you can paste the code here and once you paste the code just click on save and then click on save arrangement now once you've done that we want to see whether the ad code is working or not so generally it may take one or two hours but sometimes it works instantly so so let me just click somewhere or one of the link and see whether the ad code is working or not so first time is didn't work so usually it takes some time so let me click uh, something else and uh, let's see whether we are getting ad code or not so yes yeah, you can see one pop ads has been appeared and uh, this is not showing any ads because uh, once you implement the ad they usually take 2 to 3 hours to analyze your website and based on the content of your website the ads will start appearing this one is my brand new account that's why no balance is shown here so uh, let me show you one of my an another account for uh, pop ads where i'm generating revenue so here you can see total payouts i have 90 dollars and uh, 80 dollars is my current balance that i am going to withdraw so maybe in next video i will show you how we can withdraw from propeller ads and the best thing is that the minimum withdrawal balance is five dollar which is less than any other ad network cpm rate for yesterday and uh, every hours the minimum or the average cpm rate is more than one dollar 1.6 dollar 1.3 dollar close to one dollar that is that is 0 0.84 two dollars 1.78 dollars so you will get average more than one dollar only so if you are continuously using pop ads for two to three months then on the third month or in, or in four month when they have proper information about uh, your websites and the advertisers are also seeing your website then the cpm rate will increase to three dollar or four dollar as well and at that time your revenue will be very high you can see under my traffic section i don't have much traffic as well so 15 visitors 20 39 these are very minimal traffic that any website can generate so within this much traffic i am able to generate this much amount of money so if you have a website which has decent visitors unique visitors of 100 or 500 then you can imagine how much revenue we can generate from pop ads so that's all for this video if you have any questions then put a question in comment section i will try to help you out with that and uh, once again i will put the link of uh, pop ads in my description and you can click that one and join to start monetizing your website through pop ads and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that whatever video i upload in my series or in my entire channel you will be notified immediately